The River Nestos estuary only appears full because Bulgaria hasn't siphoned off its entitlement. Scientists warned that any reduction in supply could devastate this important bird habitat, as well as people like Dimitris Lepidas, who has a full-time job because his farm alone cannot support him. His crops are dependent on irrigation channels that tap into the Nestos River. Across the Rodopi Mountains in Bulgaria, farmers are worse off than those struggling in Greece. Many of them are still in the horse-drawn age. Two years remain before they join the European Union and they face a Herculean task to catch up with their rivals. Following unseasonal heavy rains in Bulgaria, the river Mesta looks unusually flush, but normally in summer its levels are perilously low, at a time when farmers need water the most. The construction of a small dam for regulation of water is very important for Bulgarian power because you know that there is great seasonal variability of water flow in the river. That's why we need to regulate water and to supply enough water during dry periods. Publicly, both sides say there is a good spirit of cooperation between them. Privately, the Bulgarians claim they're being forced to put the dam on ice in return for the Greek support for Sofia's application to join the European Union. But Greece denies applying such leverage. The Greeks are sceptical about Bulgarian claims that the dam will benefit both countries. We have to see the river as a unique ecosystem, as a unique development resource, which means that we have to try to design future development according to the benefit of the whole river basin, of the whole ecosystem. This is the only solution. Everything else, everything uh, other than that will damage the river and will damage also the, the two countries and the two people. From the Rila Mountains to the Aegean Sea, the needs and aspirations of the people are the same. But for the time being, Greece appears to have the upper hand in the fight for water although that may change when Bulgaria becomes an equal European partner. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Northern Greece.